Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the channel down here in the shop. I want to start off by saying thank you guys that uh, showed some love and support for my grandma and Jeff being in that last video. That was, that was pretty awesome of you guys. I really appreciate that. I'm down here in the shop, and it's kind of cold right now. Winter's finally showed up. It snowed all last week. It's raining now, but it's cold enough it should be snowing. Uh, I probably should learn how to fire up where is it? my little double barrel fireplace over there. Don't know how it works. That thing's got like an oil injection thing on it. Pressurized air gets involved. I will say this much, whoever built this place and installed that thing, they put it in a poor spot because I tried to get Andy's logging truck in here earlier. Would fit, but I couldn't open the hood because that fireplace is in the way. So uh, I think I'm gonna move that thing and try to fire it up in a different location. But that's not what today's video is about. If you guys wanna stick around towards the end, I'll show you guys the clips of Andy and I trying to get that truck in here. It's a big bird, I'll say that much. But here's what we got today, guys. I did some Black Friday shopping. Don't want you guys getting the wrong idea thinking I'm just going out and just spending my money carelessly. Uh, I'm not just rolling in it. Very blessed. Work a lot and you know all that comes into play but I definitely shop for the best deals I can. Try to find opportunities for coupons, discounts, employee discount, know a buddy at the shop, uh, commercial accounts, Black Friday deals. Or if, if it's got a dent in it, I'll go find the guy at Home Depot and ask for a discount on it. I ain't ashamed. I'll buy something with a dent for 25% off, no problem. But let's go into all this stuff that I got here, guys. Uh, I've been been wanting a new toolbox for a while, mainly because I got these little ones. And the reason I got the little ones is because I can just roll them up to the front of the truck and uh, grab my tools, you know, rather than having to walk all over the sidelines like the big toolboxes that you just kind of want to leave stationary. So I got this Husky. Been eyeballing this thing for a while. I think they're normally about 450 bucks, something like that. Got it on sale for 350 bucks. Just grab it, push it out the door. Now, I've been running out of my old trusty double stacker. Well, it's a triple stacker Craftsman box now. That thing's been a nice box. I quickly outgrew it within the first three minutes of owning it. So I got this guy over here, Mac box. This is a nice little toolbox here. It's very unorganized. I'm gonna organize all these tools, slide them straight into that box over there. But this thing, I don't really get these open top things like this. Like, they're nice if you're really organized, but let's be honest, you'd be working on stuff. I mean, I don't remember the last time I had a camper shell on something, but I took the clamps off and threw them up here. Your workbench always gets cluttered, and there's no way, I'm, and plus it's got this thing over here. So I figured I'm never going to be able to close the top of the box, so I really like the idea of just having one that was a toolbox with a workbench on the top. That way, once it gets full, I can just take my arm and slide everything onto the floor. And then kick it under the carpet. Not a big deal. Totally kidding. I respect my tools. Well, let's go into a couple of things that I really wanted to get. First thing was the toolbox, but then uh, we'll talk about those in a second. You can't pass up a deal. Ten bucks for two 25-foot Stanleys. I think I bought another one. About well, three of them, because those things, they disappear more than 10 millimeters. Speaking of tens, I got a stubby 10 millimeter. I got a long 10 millimeter. Don't know how that got in the cart, to be honest with you, because I, I went there and I bought this one here mainly for the 10 and the 916 stubby because changing and swapping or taking out the uh, transfer case on these Dodge trucks or I guess any of them I don't know I've only worked on these they got a difficult location for the top couple uh, studs for the transfer case so the stubby 916 comes into play greatly right there so I got this whole kit no so I got the double tens I even got the stubbies and you know, I got an extra spare, so I'm good for at least two rounds of mechanicking before I lose both sets. For those of you guys that are curious about what pocket knife I'm running, like people are wondering, hey Sam, I wonder what pocket knife you're wondering. Can you tell me? Well, I can right now, guys. Uh, like I said, I like to find a good deal, and I like the idea of having a pocket knife and a little box cutter in the same package. Ten bucks. I've been running one of these for about a year when I can find it. Uh, these things disappear more than uh, tape measures and 10 millimeter wrenches all in one swing. There's box cutters, so buy a pocket knife, comes with a box blade. Got, man, I don't know, I thought I had another set. Vice grips, because I've been wearing mine out lately. The tips of them, they don't seem to have any traction. So, those are the easy stuff. Uh, this one I know people have been asking about right here. The little lamps that I put underneath the hood and underneath the truck. I get these things at Home Depot as well. You can see which one it is up there. It's the Bright Bird, and then that's the regular one. Uh, these things are normally 15 bucks. They were on sale for 10. 
So I uh, bought what the cart could handle. I'm gonna give some of these away for Christmas presents to I think mainly my dad. <laughs> oh yeah, I got some gloves too. You gotta stock up on the gloves when you can. I had to get a shop back as well. Simple, a little rigid, 40 bucks. Guy I was talking to in line about it, he said uh, you better get yourself a new hose with it too because it only comes with a four footer. So 20 bucks, half the price of the whole vacuum cleaner, you get an extended hose. So we can actually reach inside the truck because I guess this one only comes with like a four footer. But the Mac Daddy of them all right here, this is, uh, I didn't plan on buying this at all right here, to be honest with you guys. Taylor threw it in the cart. She went and hunted down a guy, found it for me. She was very happy that uh, she was able to find it for me. And I, was, I don't know. I just, I always said, let's go ahead and get it. And it's actually a really great deal. Uh, normally, like if you buy a gun and a battery and a charger, it's 100 bucks, like on sale. So you do the math on all this thing, and these things, each one of them goes up in value. Comes with a duffel bag and all that. It's like $1,100 value for this kit. 400 bucks on sale. So, you know, that's not hurting anything. I can use all that stuff. So I'm going to unbox it. I mean, it comes with a uh, drill motor, screw gun. It comes with a 3 8 ratchet, or I mean impact one. A uh, leaf blower. It's all flashlight, a couple batteries. It comes with an orbital sander. Uh, skill saw. Obviously, you're going to need a charger. So I'm going to unload all this stuff and try cramming it, get a little organization in this toolbox real quick and just kind of play it out. But those are what I uh, purchased on Black Friday. There's a couple other things, but, you know, I, I think I saved about a thousand bucks by, you know, waiting until Black Friday. Do -do -do. Oh, it did come with the, uh, man, that's a big old 10 mil. There's a 10 mil right there. Got some instructions. We don't need that garbage. Throw it down there with that useless cardboard. But it came with all the mats, so, and a set of keys. So let's get this set up. I always love opening up a fresh box of whatever. Oh man, this one's such a savage of a kit. It comes with roller wheels on it. All the goodies right there, look at that. If you guys have never ran a cordless skill saw, you are definitely missing out. I don't think I'm going to put that in the mechanics box, but one I'm really after. It's not a bad little bad boy right there. I have a bunch of freaking Makita stuff. Uh, I got two of these in the 5500 for running those, um, what do you call it, The uh, those new speed binders. Come with a couple new little bad boys there. I don't want that, I don't want that. What's this one? Oh man, I didn't know that. The last kit that I got, it had one of these flashlights, but it was a big bulky son of a gun. So that's kind of nice. That one will actually fit into some locations. Let's get a battery. Come here, battery. Come on, come on. Do me a favor and just get the hell off there. Power tools have come so far in the last couple years, it's freaking awesome. All of them come standard with a little battery indicator on it. See how bright this bird is. That's not bad. That way you can just park it underneath when you're working under the truck or whatever. Now the battery is significantly bigger than the whole rig. We'll put that one in the toolbox. Take that up to the house so Taylor and I got some nice clean ones for working inside the house that's not covered in grease and oil. Oh man, I even like that. That's a... Oh. What the heck? It comes with a multiple option. Ha! That is awesome. So it's not just the trigger, which has a safety all the time. So you can really get up in there and fine tune it. Come on, baby. Oh, I like that a lot. That is cool. I am I'm getting more excited about this kit as it goes on. It was worth the money. But this is the one I'm really after. Look at that bad little Larry. Holy crap. <laughs> Uh, normally I just put a little adapter for the screw motor, but that one's ready to freaking party and it's really compact. I thought they were honestly the same size, but it is smaller. So we are, we are good to go on that. Never ran one of the cordless ones for the orbital sander. Oop. I already got one of these, but I'll just leave one in the truck now. Somewhere in here it's got a little... Alright, the... whoa, oh dang. It's actually bigger than I thought it was. Holy crap. It's not a slouch. That vacuum's actually a decent size. What do we got here? Open up this bad boy. 
Come on. I'm getting cold, guys. About to call it a night. I don't have a bathroom down in the shop and it's pouring rain outside, so I don't want to stand out there and do my business. Get this video wrapped up so I can go inside and get something warm to eat. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a lot nicer. Make sure it fits. Cause I just, I kind of guessed. I only assumed cause it was right next to it, but that bad boy works. Where the hell is the freaking thing anyway? There it is. Actually came with a decent long. Nope, it came with a freaking five foot hose. <laughs> Glad I bought that extra hose. That'll be nicer for cleaning out vehicles. But, whew. I just wanted to see all this stuff. I imagine some of you guys wouldn't mind seeing it as I open it. You ever buy something, you just ex get excited to go down there and open a box and you don't even have a use for it right off the bat, but eventually, Again, guys, I'm not just rolling in it, just going out and buying goofy stuff. I feel like a lot of people assume that of YouTubers. That's not the case here. Everything I bought had a purpose, so uh, it will get used for those intended purposes. I'll tell you that much. But I think for this big rack, I'm just going to cut these individually. So uh, I still got like their organizers as, you know, they come. So throw those individually inside here. This one I think will be a good travel kit because it locks down in there. And then I got... Oh, where'd it go? I already lost my tools. Oh yeah, deeper drawer. Got my new guy set up in there. I'm really, I'm really excited about that son of a gun. Little flashlight, yeah, not bad. And then this thing, the fact that it's got the multi-option, that's gonna be nice. Other than that, I gotta reorganize this all tomorrow, put all the other tools in best I can. If you guys know anything about organizing toolboxes, it doesn't happen within like minutes. You gotta strategize. Gonna end it right here though, guys. Comment below what you guys got on Black Friday. Let me know if you got some big deals that I missed out on, because I'll look out for them next year. I thought about buying a TV, but a toolbox sounded a lot better. Uh, still some other stuff I wanna get, but old pocketbook doesn't wanna catch on fire, you know, three times a week. There's some other stuff always on the list that you want to buy. But this is some stuff I really needed to buy and some Christmas presents in there. But anyway, let me know what you guys got. We'll see you on the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video. And thank you again, guys. I really appreciate you saying kind words about my grandma and Jeff. Uh, and anything you guys always say, the awesome comments, I really appreciate you guys. So thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you on the next one later on. Have a good day. Well, Boone, everybody asks why I don't have a lift in here yet. About to find out the reason why. 40 by 40 shop is not that big. We need to move into a Walmart next phase. Wait for this old boy to get turned around. We're hoping that this fits in here. Put it that way. doesn't look like it'll fit forward so well it would but we can't open the hood because this tank this heater tanks in the way so he's gonna spin around and stick the stinger right there You don't fit. <laughs>